great job for you guys tonight. Round of applause. Come on, take it. My name, uh, my name is Frank. Uh, I'm originally from a little suburb of Chicago. Yes. Milwaukee. That's the first official joke somebody gets with the rest of the night. Whatever, when's he going to start doing the voices? Uh, there go Packers, stay law. There you go. Uh, this isn't political at all, uh, but I do uh, want to say this. Uh, as a comedian, it was just easier. I miss George Bush a little bit. Uh, it was just easier back then. We had a president who seemed like he was always looking directly into the sun. Right, because every time you see George Bush, he had that look on his face that... Just waiting for him to go, Somebody do me a favor and hand me a pair of sunglasses. Just somebody get me a visor. Sir, I think you mean advisor, not a visor. What are you, moron? Sometimes you do this. Get to the end of the sentence, you wouldn't be able to get that last word, you find yourself kind of rooting for him to get it. He was on TV, you'd be home and it'd be like a scene from The Water Boy, because you're like, you can do it! You want him to get there so bad, we talk about something serious, like the terrorists. These terrorists, these guys are, uh, these guys are, uh, these guys are bad. Like, sir, you had two choices, bad and not good, I'm sorry. But that took too long. We're divided. I've seen it during presidential elections. People come to me, what you done if Hillary Clinton would have been elected president, Frank? What you done then? What you done? You don't really do it in front of the women. What you done if Hillary Clinton would have been elected president? <laughs> Listen, Beaker, if Hillary Clinton... Great, three of you getting the Beaker reference. That's like 98%. All right. If Hillary Clinton had been elected president, that would have been the easiest thing on earth, right? Because that would have been, I am back and there will be no rules. 